Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Figure Out What's Behind This Door. And in the last episode, I was talking about uh, Inquisition paintings, like the Spanish Inquisition, where a lot of people are like tortured and killed and stuff. I was wondering, you know, how like they, you know, they, they, they're paintings, they're not pictures. They didn't have cameras in the, what, 1200s, 1300s, something like that. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe earlier than that, like the 11s. But anyway, um, when did the Inquisition happen? I mean, it had to be kind of close to the Crusades, right? Because Spain came over in the... Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. History and maybe we, we haven't got along since, like, sophomore year of high school. But the, um, the, yeah, that's the one class I never took in college was uh, history. But I took a lot of music classes and failed. The, uh... Do you think, like, they actually painted people getting tortured, or... But I would think, like, you couldn't do that. You know what I mean? Like, pictures of people being tortured and what actually happened in the Inquisition. You'd think, like, somebody would have to stand still for someone to be painted. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you do a portrait of somebody, you gotta paint it, and they've gotta stand real still. Like Hercules in that one, that one scene where he's like, I told you, don't move! You know, <laughs> that scene. And... I just don't think I do. Let's figure out what is behind this door, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, nice bathroom. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, thank God. There's this guy I know named God. It's weird. We should be okay here for a while. I mean, it's not weird. I think it's spelled differently. G A W D. God. Thanks. You're welcome. Is he okay? Is he gonna die? Yeah, for now. <laughs> yeah, for now. Mm. Uh, it's good scotch. Uh. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. Yeah, it'd be a nice. It's okay, honey. You can tell her. Yes, you can. Who is he? Be a good idea. Back on first, we want an answer, Clementine. Go ahead, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. <laughs> Don't yell at her. Just go. It's just a friend. Really? I don't think he wants to hurt us. Really? What has he been saying to you? What's his name? What have you been saying? I want to his him? name and his number. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. Uh -oh. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Hmm. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He, Lee. Hmm. Uh no, -oh. what's going on, Ben? Get up here now. Why? What's I tried wrong? to go up there earlier. It's Kenny. Uh oh. Oh man, this. Oh god, I remember this. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just thinking about my voicemail the other day. Uh oh, uh oh, it's about to get real. Stay here. I can't remember what let's play I was doing when I was talking about my uh, voicemail, but um, I was thinking about it the other day, and everyone gets a kick out of it when they hear it. It's like uh, I'm in, I'm speaking in this Australian accent, and I'm like, "Hello, mate, you've reached the voicemail of San Francisco. He's not here right now, but if <laughs> and what gets me every time when I think about it, it's like if you leave your name, your number." Or <laughs> No, it's like, if you leave your name, your street address, and your God-given social security number, he might give you a call. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing I thought of it. And I think it's still on my voicemail. And everyone thinks it's funny, because everyone leaves a voicemail in Australian. So it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Kenny? It's funny they hear it, and it's funny that I hear them. Kenny, what is going on here? Man, this mustache get bigger. Kenny, you okay, man? What's going on here? Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh my God! Oh man! Dang the piano music. Oh. Hell looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. Dang it, Elton John. Your piano.
Well, then I'll do it, man. You, man. Man, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to take care of Kenny too. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Man, Lee's a stone cold killer. Can I just leave? Oh no, I can't just leave. Give Kenny gun. No, 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 no. This must have been where he slept. Man. Empty plate. Empty bottle of water. Oh, jeez. Man. Oh, dude. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been a Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. This is sad. Let's just stomp the kid. Oh, come on! Why are you making me do this, too? I'm sorry. Man, that, they just, like, gave, too. <sighs> oh, it's rough. We should bury him. Just I'll bury him? Yeah, I'll take care of it. It's like everything else, Kenny. I'll take care of it. Oh. Dude, what if he came back to life just freaking bit my nipple off? That would suck. Man, I mean... I mean, he was immobilized, but we couldn't really leave him alive. That'd be a threat to us, you know? But he didn't have any strength. He probably didn't have the strength to bite, you know? His mouth was open the whole time. He couldn't even close his mouth. Dang, another kid, man. Even though he was a zombie, it's like... The thing about that is, like, what did he have to go through before we found him, you know? Oh, great. They're gonna make me carry him? God dang it. Yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let you... I'm gonna click on the thing. I'm gonna let you carry him, Lee. I'm not, uh... I don't know if I could be whatever you are being right now. You know, I thought about being a mortician once, ladies and gentlemen, because it's kind of like a private job. Like, yeah, I know you work with somebody, but... That's kind of just like a separated from society type deal, but. Oh, man, this is rough. Man, I can't believe the game makes you do this. Freaking Telltale Games. I'm going to find you, and I want my tears back. Give me the shovel. Oh, man. That was, that was a kind of cool scene with the church tower. Oh, dude, this is rough. Oh yeah, just just do it, just do it, man. Just just cover him up. Try not to think about it, Lee. Come on, just just do it, dude. Man, this is the longest freaking anti mob hit in the world. Oh, Clem, come on, don't. <sighs> it's hard for me to look in her eyes, dude. See, even for Lee, he had to look away. She knows, though. She knows. She's a good girl. She knows to avoid violence when, when she can. Let's just cover this dude up and let's call it freaking... Call it quits. I mean, not for us. I mean, we still got... But... Call it quits on, on this scene right here. Whoa! Hey! Dude, that that deep kind of like woo thing. Who are you? First time I heard that, it was like oh. I thought, oh god, like who's standing there? You know, someone was watching us. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. Don't think so. He was he was kind of standing there like one. You know, he kind of like his head tilted to the side, staring right into my soul. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. Maybe. The guy on the radio. Maybe. I like your hair. Kenny? I'm fine. Art? Just, Are you? I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. 
What? Yeah. Who? Yeah. I can't be sure. It Maybe been a guy. Could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, me neither, Ben. Bit. But I'm we're in it. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. <laughs> it's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if we'll need well enough to move yet. Oh we man. Get ready. Yeah. I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. Uh, let's look here for supplies. Go, that's a good idea. Maybe something here can help on me. Really check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food. Toss the place. <laughs> ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Good I'm idea, Lee. I'm glad want. I thought of it. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm going to do. Maybe it's hmm. not such a bad idea to check the place. I said I'm done with this house. In other words, shut the f up, man. <laughs> Ain't everybody else, I guess. Kenny, man. You can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. That sounds like a plan. Wait, can't I come? No. My mom and dad can't be far now. No. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. No. Stay here and help. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. You are. No, it, it's just this once. Yes. Sometimes we all have the next time. The next time you're gonna come with me. The group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. We'll get some midnight oil. Let's go see if we'll meet me. It's good gas station. <laughs> so you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Uh you kind of deserve to be on the bench. You're probably gonna sell half the supplies. No, uh, split protect Clementine. How it is, ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Yeah. Just so we're clear. Like you did in the street. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? Yeah, like I you did in the street. No problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone. Good job, Ben. You trusted Ben to look after Clement. Yeah. He's... I wish I could trust him with something a little bit smaller first than the only thing that's keeping me alive at this point. Oh, Ben, don't let me down, dude. If you let me down, you're gonna freaking... You're not gonna wake up. I mean, you're just gonna go to sleep and you're gonna stay asleep forever. I mean, that's the way it's gonna be. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to play some uh, Wolf Among Us. I haven't played that game yet. I've been uh, been finishing Dante's Inferno. And I cannot beat Catherine. I'm so done with Catherine. So done with Catherine. But uh, I need to do another game with friends, ladies and gentlemen. A Left 4 Dead 2 game with friends. What I need to do. But uh, K Woods is. I guess he's been busy with stuff, and Derek's. Well, the night with Derek may be a good idea. Man, Kenny is just so gone. He's. Just, He's somewhere else, dude. What are we up to? Oh, we got freaking five minutes left. We can do that. We got this, dude. We got this. What was that insignia? It's freaking Salazar going to come out of the corner. <laughs> you want to talk, man? So, you want to talk about it? About what? About uh, your life? What happened back there in the attic? No. You sure, man? I mean, River's right up ahead. All right. Fine. I'm here if you need me. Tried to be there for you sentimentally. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. Is no, it? Listen, that's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Which is good. Oh, oh, snap. Get down. Get down! They don't they don't see us. What in the hell is going on? Uh looks like death has come for us. Or is going the other way. Which is good. The other way's good. Maybe they're trying to distract us. I have no idea. Maybe they're doing us a favor. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Thanks, Trey. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> Good job, Kenny. All right, I think we're copacetic. Let's keep we're copacetic corn dogs. All right, so what now? 
still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Uh oh. Oh my god. I know that look in Kenny's eyes. Oh no. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Uh, Ken. I think it's time for Plan B. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a Plan B. <laughs> this is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Hey! Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Kenny, you need to face reality, man. I know things are rough, but you gotta be real right now. Oh, man. The boats are gone. This one might still be salvageable. Really? You do you think? Uh, seriously? Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. Really? What you can find. Okay. All right, so now we gotta look around because that's what he wants me to do. But right now I'm trying to look up a quote. Right now, here's something I'm trying to remember: a Futurama quote. I just don't know where in the world. Dang it! I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time in the desert, ladies and gentlemen. My brain doesn't work. Doesn't work as good as it used to. Let's go and walk around, ladies and gentlemen. All right, keep out. Uh oh. Well, go and imagine what. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I got. Oh, yeah, I got to look around. That's right. With the telescope. The thing is, it needs a quarter. Great. Needs a quarter to work. See, why should it cost money to freaking? I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the heck? Well, isn't that beautiful? That's terrible. This is Dante Inferno stuff right now, right there, dude. The markings. The marking. You have the mark. Doff 6 8 ob. I don't know what that means. Alright, so let's go over here because there is a cash register. Oh, there's another one. Alright, time to empty the cash register. Remember, just like the old days, man. Except you don't have a gun. You're not holding down. I mean, I'm kidding. Of. Well, wouldn't money just be useless now anyway? Like, what purpose would money have in this in this type of world? That's like going to hell and having like a crucifix or something. It's like, oh yeah, well, those don't work here anymore. Fuck. Break it! You have a wrench. Good job. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, and there's a the quarter. Exactly. Now I'm gonna use that quarter to go put in that telescope. We're gonna look across the ocean. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go see Europe. From this side, from America, that'd be a very powerful telescope, ladies and gentlemen. The thing is, you can't really do that because the curve of the Earth is going to block. You know, like you're not on a flat plane like this. The curve is going to do this, so you're not going to be able to see. Crack beneath the water line was someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it. Yeah, yeah. Don't look over there, Kenny. Don't, 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 don't. What Just. The, what the hell is that? It's it's a sign, is what it is. And that that quote was that daffodil quote that Bender says. He's like, "Ho oh, dang daffodil" or something like that. I don't know. Pff, couldn't remember it. Well, there's obviously not a boat there. Obviously not a boat there. Oh, can I salvage that one? Well, pff. and upriver. Dang, dude. Nothing. Ain't nothing. A building. But what are we supposed to do, man? Anything over here? No sign of any down there. There's nothing here, Kenny. It's 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 empty. It's it's bro. It, there's nothing here. There's nothing. There's nothing there, Frylock. All right. What what about um? Okay. What, how do I get out of this? Is there a there's a bridge. <gasps> Oh, 
Yeah, that'd be a good question, dude. What the heck am I doing? How do I get... Oh, what? The hell? Hey! Hey, 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 you up there. What are you doing up there? No, no, no. You sit down. You have have your breakfast. Everyone needs their vitamins, A's and B's. And... I'm sorry. It's a sensitive, sensitive trigger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that little red riding hood? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Let's do it. Uh, maybe it's just scavenger. We're not looking for trouble. Come here, looking for trouble. <laughs> we did, we did not come. Seems to have a way of finding us, anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio, the one who's been messing with us. Yeah. If he is. We can put an end to it right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. Oh. Go around the side. Cover your flank. We'll come up on quiet, taken by surprise. Cover me with what? Okay, never, never mind. Never mind. You already answered my question. Talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Yeah, the time for talk is now. Wow, Kenny, that was very quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna do this in the next episode. Sorry to leave on a cliffhanger, but we are going to do two more episodes today, and then uh, I've got a racing game to download that. Uh, I'm not really big on racing games. The last racing game I played was. Um, Burnout Revenge and, uh, let's see, I feel like there was another one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there is one. No, that, I think Burnout Revenge was the, uh, Flat Out, I guess. I played Flat Out and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Catch you next time, so keep it real and peace.